Walmart has new mystery boxes. And no, they're not mystery gems. It's an actual mystery box. What's up, guys? We're back with another mystery box opening. And yes, I have tons of this new mystery box. Shout out to Juan on Instagram for hooking me up. He sent me these at his cost. So basically did all the work for me because I couldn't find any at my Walmart. So once again, thanks for sending me these. And we also have a few mystery gems just to spice things up. He sent some of these. So we're going to be opening a ton of these new Walmart mystery boxes, both versions. The mystery gems are awful, but that's okay. We've got the new mystery box with the sleeves in it. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, Ultimate Rare. All you to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know your favorite part about this newest mystery box we already know about the mystery gems not that great this one i don't know how they're gonna be it's gonna be interesting they have fusion forces which i love let's start off with this 60 count player's choice and two booster pack mystery box look for a chase pack seed in one out of two so it looks like lob is probably the chase pack only two packs and sleeves they're about 15 bucks retail so not that cheap i would say but you are getting two packs how do you open this thing there we go you get two packs and you get sleeves hopefully these are the nice players choice sleeves and not the crap crappy ones that don't really fit any cards. We're going to test them out and figure out which ones they are. Figure. That's not a way to say that. <laughs> All right, let's open this pack of sleeves. Let's figure out are these good sleeves or are these bad sleeves? This is, goes a long way to determine if these are good mystery boxes, because if they're good then and the sleeves are actually relevant, and then we'll actually use them. Let's try it on this by road sacrifice. Oh, wait, these might be the good ones. That went in pretty easily. Did you guys see that? I think I might have an example of the bad ones, too. I think these are the ones that are like really tight. Let's let's see about this. So these are the ones that often were in the mystery boxes and you put, yeah, these are them. See how like impossibly small these are? Yes. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, you can put them in there, but you're going to damage your card. It's like literally like bending almost. These are not those. So it looks like they actually sent the good ones. Wow. Okay. So these are, these are looking good so far. These are actually super nice sleeves. So I'm about to have like five packs of sleeves. It's actually exciting. All right. So we'll put that up there as an example that these sleeves are actually quality and you might actually want these other mystery box. So I, this might actually really sell this mystery box to people. Let's see what the packs are. First pack is a dark Neo storm, which could Fusion Destiny is in here as a super rare. Let's see if we can pull it. I mean, it's probably not as expensive anymore after, uh, you know, the reprints. Goki, let's see. Dillager's Dragon. Neo Flamville. Oh, or will we pull it on the first pack? Let's go. Overflow Dragon. We've got it. A Fusion Destiny super rare. It's definitely not 25 anymore or whatever it was, but it still might be worth like 10 bucks. That's pretty good. You think that Walmart loaded these because they knew I was going to open them? <laughs> first edition Raging Tempest. That's cool. It's an older pack. Six years old at this point. Oh my gosh. I'm, or five. Five years. Almost six years. I think it's early 2017. Let's see what else we can get out of here. Come on. I can't believe we pulled Fusion Destiny first pack. Spiritual Beast. I definitely read that as something else, Tamer. All right. True King. Very nice. We got the rock in hand. Okay. That's a pretty good first mystery mystery box though. I'm liking these. And I probably think that they're so good because I'm comparing them to mystery gems. One of the worst mystery boxes I've ever seen. Let's see if mystery gems can redeem themselves from that video the other day where we pulled 13 out of 16 obelisk the tormentors from legendary collection. We don't want to see obelisk. Number nine. Will it be obelisk? Will it be anything but obelisk? Here we go. Ah. <laughs> Wow, it's an Obelisk the Tormentor, woo! I don't know if it's gonna be able to, but we're gonna find out. First one is a Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I don't have this one actually, so that's cool. It's something different, nice. We'll take that, we'll take that. I did not pull that out of all the other ones that I opened the other day. Let's see about Mystery Box number two, actually decent compared to Mystery Gems. Let's see what we can do. So we got our sleeves, which we know are nice now at this point, that's pretty cool. I need those, because you know, YCS Hartford's coming up, guys. I mean, I hope to see you guys there. Dark Neo storm again is that gonna be in every pack i hope not <laughs> that would be kind of a bummer because hello hello <laughs> it's literally bent are you kidding me memories of hope philo all right so uh that is not what we're looking for so so far we've gotten two dark neo storm one of them completely bent not that exciting there let's see what the next pack is another raging tempest oh no is this gonna be another mystery box where there's no mystery come on have some variety have some variety please uh sure no style zodiac super quantum look at the ancient gear oh a secret rare sea monster of theseus this is one of those cards i think people thought it was gonna actually be good for some reason i don't remember why but it, it never was <laughs> all right that first one might have set expectations a little high because not feeling too good about these right now let's see uh the first one was good the second one not so good bit packs same exact packs. I mean, we do get the sleeves, so that's cool. I feel like it's easy for them to get bent because they like they hit the sleeves and you know what I mean. Let's see what Mystery Gems has got for us. Will it be blue eyes? 
Obelisk, our friend Obelisk. This is our 14th one in our, well, technically we gave the others away, but 14th one we've pulled on the channel now. Uh, very exciting. All right, mystery box number three. Can you prove us wrong? Can you give us something amazing? I hope that we can pull an LOB pack. We've opened two and we have not pulled a chase pack, whatever that means, unless we're just pulling you know, Raging Tempest is a chase bag. We pulled it twice. I doubt it. But well, let's let's go with our sleeves. Player's choice. Okay. And then we have Raging Tempest. Okay, so that is got that can't be a chase pack. There's no way. I mean, it shouldn't be in the first place, but we've pulled it three times in a row. There's no way. We got the ancient gear, the flower cardian. We got the zodiac sign. Christian Rion. The Lost Wind, this is a good card. I didn't realize this was a rare in this set. That's actually crazy. And then a Heavy Armored Train Iron Wolf. So the Heavy Trains. I didn't know there was a rank four for the trains. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then, um... Ah, Dark Neostorm. Where are those one and two uh, have, a, have a chase pack seated, huh? Because uh, we've opened three. Haven't seen one yet. So hopefully those last two have one, or at least one of them. We have a draw hand. Oh, we definitely just skipped the Ruxin special over the Loge Flame. All right. Extra Cross Crusader. All right. All right. Dark Neostorm. Great. We did pull the Fusion Destiny, but that was in the first pack. Ever since then, not great. But don't fret. We have Mystery Gems. Mystery Gems will save us. The greatest mystery box of all time. By greatest, I mean worst, because these are awful. Let's see if we can pull anything besides Legendary Collection 1 promo. No, but we can pull an obelisk yet again. I think obelisk might be the most common one based on my experience. I mean, a little small sample size, but like 89% of them have been obelisk. Don't worry. Okay, this one feels thicker for some reason. Wait, does that mean, can you get more pa- I don't know, how does this work? Do you still get two packs if you get the, the chase one, or do you get three packs like they've done before? You get like a bonus pack. Okay, okay, let's go. I believe. Let's pull something crazy. So first, let's get, what is this? What the? What the? A, what? An entire special edition? Hello? <laughs> oh, and then a chase pack. Okay, so wait a second. Does it say anywhere? It says two booster packs. That's not two booster. Wait, is this one of those euro ones where you can get you don't get like a pack you get okay time out we're gonna have to open this up because i'm really intrigued by this is this like the dimension of chaos thing where you just get no you do get packs there's three packs in here so we got four packs instead of two do we rig the system and of course it's still dark neostorm and then uh we got the promos here which is i mean that's cool we didn't ask for that so that's nice uh dark neostorm these are definitely euro because those are euro special editions the small skidding ones like that weird very weird now can we get a fusion destiny uh, euro print let's see dino wrestler we got the world chalice and a crackdown, good card. Not crazy, but good. Man, these these mystery boxes are just weird. I don't even know what to say at this point, but I'm taking the bonus packs, but it's so far we've pulled all of the exact same cards, which is not great. Um, an Ulche Teacher and number 20, Utopic Dark Infinity. I don't think I've ever seen number 20 before. So that's pretty cool to see. One more Dark Neostorm. And then we go to Invasion of Chaos. We finally got a chase uh, chase pack, at least. That's nice. Firewall. We got the uh, Kree Altar, the Deligious Dragon, Extra Cross Crusader, and the Orcus Crescendo. All right, the Orcus Crescendo. Moving on to the pack we actually care about, which is... What is going on down here? Why is it all bent? Probably because it was in this very small box, crushed in with a special edition and sleeves. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's get a little pack trick going here for our Chaos Emperor Dragon. We got a Prickle Fairy. We got the Griffin's Feather Duster. A Grandura. The Neobug, Heart of the Underdog, Balloon Lazard, Cannonball Spear Shellfish, Chain Disappearance, and a Grand Maju Day Eyes. Uh, so no foil, but pretty cool card. Not the best mystery boxes, but we do have gra graded cards in our mystery gems box. I keep hyping this up, you know, like sarcastically. Ah, Wing Dragon of Raw. Like, it's always going to be BCCG. They put PSA cards on here. It's got to be a scam. There's no way there are PSA cards in here. If you ever pull a PSA card, make sure to let me know on Twitter, Instagram, at Ruxin34, by the way, or like on YouTube comments, because I want to know if anyone's ever actually pulled a PSA card. All right, our final mystery box. Player's Choice Leaves, two packs. This doesn't feel like it has a special edition in it. <laughs> Last time it was bulging. This time it feels like the other ones. So I'm guessing Rage and Tempest first edition, and then we're going to get um, Dark Neo Storm again. And then, of course, the sleeves. Let's see if I'm right. Ah, Dark Neo Storm. If you guys like Dark Neo Storm, this is the mystery box for you. That's all I got to say. These are bent again. See that? All right, okay, not great because it seems like everything is going to be bent. Deligerous Dragon, not great. Alter Guys, Fafenalag. We got the number five Doom Chimera Dragon and Whitefish Salvage. Ah, bent cards, I love it. And the final pack here, what will it be? Raging Tempest, whoa. Okay, so at this point, it's turned into mystery boxes are not a mystery because every mystery box has the same packs. <sighs> Raging Tempest, what will you give us? Give us something good. Shinoborg, we got the Speedroid, a Yoka Tuner. 
Super Quantal Alphonse Strike. Got the Shinbor Crane. We got the Miscellaneous Source. That's a good card for Dinos. Gonna pull that out for my Dino deck. Rank up Magic. We got the Super Heavy Samurai. And the Geo. Geo. Neo Galaxy Eye Cyber Dragon. I don't think that's too great, but it's a card that we pulled out of a pack, out of a mystery box. That was not mysterious. All right, don't feel too good about those, but we did start off pretty nice, so I'd say they're at least a little more exciting than the mystery gems. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Stone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Moosey, Junior Running, and Anna Shai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, and John Nolan. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.